My name is Kenichi Kejima from the Department of Gastroenterology, Chuntendo University School of Medicine in Tokyo. It is my great pleasure to present our recent data regarding the role of NK T cells in hepatic inflammation and virogenesis. As you know, the liver contains a variety of innate immune cells, predominating NK and NK T cells. Lines of evidence support the hypothesis that innate immune responses are profoundly involved in the mechanisms of hepatic inflammation and fibrogenesis. However, the precise role of NK T cells in hepatic fibrogenesis remains unclear. CD1D is mainly expressed on the cell surface of macrophages and dendritic cells. NK T cells recognize glycolipid antigens presented in combination with CD1D molecules. Classical type 1 NK T cells express an invariant T cell receptor containing VAlpha 14, JAlpha 18 chain in mice, whereas non classical type 2 NK T cells express diverse TCR, both of which recognize glycolipid antigen in the CD1D restricted manner. To clarify the role of NKT cell subset in hepatic inflammation and fibrogenesis, we investigated xenobiotics induced liver injury and subsequent fibrogenesis in mice lacking CD1D or VR14. Male CD1D knockout, VR14 knockout, and wild type mice were given a single intrapetronal injection of thiocytamide or carbon tetrachloride. Some mice were given repeated intrapetronal injections of cyanocytamide for up to 9 weeks. Mortality following a single injection of cyanocytamide was prevented almost completely in CD1D knockout, but the mortality rate reached over 50% in VRFA14 knockout mice. We further confirmed that CD1D knockout mice were protective against repeated injections of cyanocytamide for 5 weeks. Hepatic necroinflammatory changes, as well as elevations in serum amnotransferases levels following single thiostomide administration, were significantly ameliorated both in CD1D knockout and VR14 knockout mice, but the degree of hepatic injury was much severer in VR14 knockout mice. Increases in hepatic IL4 interferon gamma, TNF alpha, and IL-6 messenger RNA levels following a single thiosomite challenge were largely granted in CD1D knockout mice. Thiosomite induced expression of alpha-SMA and TGF-beta messenger RNA in the liver were also blunted largely in CD1D knockout mice. CD1D knockout mice developed minimal hepatic fibrosis after a 9-week administration of thiosomite, which caused overt bridging fibrosis in wild-type mice. Cyanocytamide induced increases in alpha 1 procarjin and TIMP1 messenger RNA were blunted significantly in CD1D knockout mice. As similar to cyanocytamide, acute carbon tetrachloride induced hepatic injury and subsequent profibrogenic responses were also minimized significantly in CD1D knockout mice. This cartoon demonstrates our working hypothesis. Xenobiotics triggered oxidative stress in the hepatocyte causes hepatocellular damage. CD1D restricted NK T cells recognizes glycolipid antigen during the process and enhance hepatic inflammatory responses. NK T cells also produce a variety of cytokines including IL-4 and IL-13, which may participate in the activation of hepatic steroid cells thereby causing exacerbation of hepatic fibrosis. In conclusion, these findings clearly demonstrated that CD1D restricted NKT cells profoundly contribute to hepatic inflammation, hepatocellular damage, and subsequent profibrogenic responses in the liver. The degree of inflammatory responses to xenobiotics appears to be different between CD1D and VRFA14 knockout mice most likely indicating that subpopulation of NKT cells play a differential role in liver pathophysiology.